Hey guys, it's Foxpro. Welcome to another Fallout 76 video. Today I'm going to be going over the Gatling laser. It's going to be like a completely comprehensive guide on all things Gatling laser and uh, going over perk cards for it, how to get it, the different mods, best legendary effects, uh, and ammo and perk cards. So first off, this is what the Gatling laser looks like. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and first talk about how to actually obtain a Gatling laser. So according to the wiki page, you can actually find this weapon from as a reward from events. You can get it in government supply crates, or you can actually buy it from the Modus terminal vendor from the White Spring Bunker after you are a Enclave member. And just for reference, the White Spring Bunker is going to be over here on the map. And once you become an Enclave member, you can actually enter the Enclave Bunker and then you can go to one of the vendors in there and purchase it for some caps. I'll go and show you guys that really quick. So let's go ahead and head on over. If you aren't an Enclave member yet and you want to become one, I have a guide for that. So I'll go ahead and link that in the description. I forget if this is the long entrance. I think this is the long entrance. There might be a shortcut. But we can go ahead inside. Here we are. So now that we're in here, we can go ahead and navigate to the armory. Once you're in command, go to armory. So I guess you have to be an enclave general. Um, and then we can go here to the terminal. Go to trade, and then we can go over to notes. And right here we have the Gatling laser. Um, and it is pretty expensive, but you can go ahead and use all of the charisma boosting perks to try and reduce the cost there. Uh, if you're not sure what those are, leave a comment below and I'll let you know. Um, there's quite a few ways to boost your charisma. Um, but yeah, so I guess you have to be an Enclave General, so I, the guide that I have is to become an Enclave General, so I'll just leave that in the uh, description if you're interested in doing that step. But yeah, so that's how you can buy the plan, and then once you can buy it, you can craft it. <clears throat> there is still ways to get it like randomly from the world, so that's not the only way, but that is like the guaranteed way if you uh, don't have one at this point in the game. Uh, now that I went over that, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the weapon modifications. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and use this list just because I think it's a little bit easier because you can see all of the modifications kind of like on one page. So here we have the receiver and the best receiver is going to be the prime receiver so that you can get a prime Gatling laser. This is only going to be dropped by um, killing Scorch Beast. And once you kill Scorch Beast, you have a chance of getting a random prime receiver for different weapons. And once you do that, uh, once you do that, and you get one for the Gatling laser, you can slap this guy on, and it's gonna give you the best damage overall. Uh, but it is gonna change the ammo type from fusion cores to prime fusion cores, and there's gonna be like a different um, ammo type for that. I'll show you guys that a little bit later though. For the barrel. For the barrel, the aligned charging barrels down here gives you superior range, improved recoil, and hip fire accuracy. So that one's going to be the best. Um, all the other ones give you like one or two things, but that one gives you like a good uh, multiple sort of things there. The only issue is it does seem to lower the fire rate a little bit. So I guess you can try it out. It's going to lower your DPS, but it's going to give you these stats. So up to you if you think that's a good trade off or not. But you can see here that all the barrels are going to kind of like give or take a little bit of something. Um, and then for the sight, you might as well just slap this sight on. It just gives you a bunch of extra stats right here for the reflex sight. And then for the muzzle, you can do the beam focuser um, if you'd like. But it is going to give you some reduced range. But you do get better accuracy and recoil. This gun can spawn at level 25 and it maxes out at level 45. It uses fusion cores, but like I said earlier, like if you prime the weapon, it's going to be using ultra sight fusion cores. So it's going to be a little bit different to be using that primed ammo. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you guys that right now. All right, so I'm going to go to a Tinker's Workbench and go to craft. I actually don't know if I have the prime receiver unlocked, but we'll go ahead and find out here. Ultra sight ammo. I think I do have everything unlocked. And right here we have ultra sight. Uh, that's plasma. Right here, ultra sight fusion core. So this takes fusion core and it takes uh, violet flux and then it takes ultra sight to craft but you can also use some crafting perks to mass craft and possibly get duplicates um, with all those crafting strategies you just use like super duper and you can use like the ammo crafting perks to give you more ammo and crafting um, and then that's what you would use for a primed version of this but for the regular one you can just use regular fusion cores and you see i have 500 shots uh, per fusion core at base the best legendary effects, I'll go ahead and go over that now that we're here. Um, now that I talked about the best modifications, it's pretty much going to be all the same with the best DPS uh, legendary effects for heavy weapons. 
So if you are not bloodied and not junkies, then anti-armor is gonna be the best. If you are bloodied, bloody's gonna be, a, be the best. If you're a junkies build, junkies is gonna be the best. Faster fire rate is really good. 25% extra damage while aiming is pretty good. You could even go with 90% reduced weight as a, as like a third stat if you wanted. That could be helpful since it is a heavy weapon. Um, faster reload speed is like eh. I would stay away from anything that's VATS related. You don't really use VATS with heavy weapons, except for maybe the Plasma Caster. This weapon does not spawn Explosive or Quad, um, so you won't be able to get those effects on it, unless it's like a legacy one. Two Shot could be viable, but it's kind of like the same with all the other two shots. You're going to lose a lot of accuracy, but if you like the two shot play style and feel, then you could use that. Um, faster Reload could be helpful. But I think stretching for extra damage is always nice. Doing vampires could be pretty good because you're gonna get a lot of uh, health regen because of how fast it shoots. I think that's pretty much all of the major perks that I would say are actually gonna be good on this weapon. Um, those are pretty much the best legendary effects for this gun. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over perks really quick. This is considered a heavy weapon and it is also using energy ammo. So those are the type of perks that are gonna be pretty effective. So we, you know, we, we got the standard heavy gunner perks here to do damage. Glow sight is pretty universal. Tenderizer is pretty universal. Nerd rage, universal. Stabilized is good for power armor and heavy guns used together. Um, and then we have batteries included, which will actually affect fusion cores. So your fusion cores are going to be weighing less. Um, there's also a int perk card, which make fusion cores have double like the duration or like double the capacity. And that will actually give your guns double the ammo. So instead of 500 shots per fusion core, you'll have a thousand shots per full fusion core. Um, adrenaline is pretty global. We also have bloody mess for global. One gun army is good for heavy guns. And, uh, and then you know, I've got some mutations, which are good for just kind of for everything, anything damage related. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the brick cards. Oh, you know what? Before I sign off, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little weapon demo um, using this one. Since I've got some ammo for it, I might as well show it off a little bit. We'll go to good old West Tech. All right, so I'm at West Tech. This one that I'm using is like the only one that I have. It was a gift from um, somebody from the community. It has bats and faster reload and vampires. Um, so it doesn't have a lot of damage boosting stats on it, but you'll see how much damage it does without that. I am in a bloodied state um, and I have mutations that boost my damage from that. So you can see the damage here. And like the yeah, accuracy, so you kind of get a feel for it. It's, it's, it's not too bad. It's time to kill is pretty decent. Is um, maybe not like the best heavy weapon in the game, but it's definitely a, a fun one to use. And like, it's pretty accurate on the hip fire as well. You can see like, I've still got a lot of ammo capacity left. Can I laser him from here? I'd say it's fairly accurate. Maybe not the best in accuracy, but it's decent. And it is going to have a wind-up time as well before it starts actually firing. And there you go. That's the weapon, and that's without any like damaging legendary perks or da damaging legendary effects. And it still does pretty decent damage at, at uh, with just perks and some mutations. That's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, until next time.